It's quite common in winter and early spring to notice quite a lot of algae inside the pond or the filters. In this video I want to take a quick look at why that is and what you should do or shouldn't do to help combat your algae issues. If you don't already know me, my name is Kev and the aim of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, feel free to subscribe and check out my website, ozponds.com. Let's start with why algae can be an issue in winter and early spring. Normally we associate algae with lots of sun and warm weather. And it's true, that can certainly help algae grow, but during winter and early spring, it's probably more to do with the fact that the bacteria colonies responsible for processing nitrogen are less active due to the cold water. There's also not a lot of plants that are able to consume this excess nutrients as they're also dormant or growing very slow at this time of year. At the end of winter and into early spring, the days start getting longer and the fish slowly start to become more active. When they become more active, their metabolism speeds up and they produce more ammonia. So the fish are getting a little more active, but the bacteria are still a bit slow to get going processing the ammonia. If you're anything like me, you might be a bit lazy with the netting, and there's also plenty of organic material breaking down inside the pond. Again, this is just adding more nutrients. Algae is opportunistic and will grow because it can. The thing to remember is it's actually helping consume nutrients until the bacteria can get going again. So how do you get rid of it? Well, there's lots of different ways. If you know you've got a good filtration system, then your answer is just patience. Once the bacteria kick into gear, the algae will quickly start dying off. You can always help the filtration system by removing as much organic material as you can. This is also a great time of year to conduct a clean on your filters. I have quite a few videos showing how I clean my various DIY filters. If you don't have a good filtration system, now is the perfect time to add a bog filter. I've got lots of videos that can help you with that. Plus there's plenty of useful resources on my website. Another thing that will really help the filter system is if you don't feed the fish during this time. Koi and goldfish are excellent algae and plant eaters, but if you give them a choice of meat and veggies, they'll take meat every time. In colder water, it's actually better for them to eat more carbohydrates, which are plants, as opposed to proteins, which in fish food tend to come more from animal sources. Even fish that are primarily carnivores shouldn't need any supplement feeding if there's algae in the pond. Algae attracts many tiny organisms, and that provides free food to any type of fish. Once the algae has pretty much gone, you can resume feeding. If you're really fed up and you just want to kill the algae, there's a number of products that work. I recently made a video about using hydrogen peroxide to kill algae, so I'll link that in the description. There's other products like copper-based algicides, which will also kill algae. But the algae will generally return unless you address the underlying issue. The keys to managing algae at any time of year are reducing nutrient levels through proper filtration, not overstocking or overfeeding or allowing organic materials to overwhelm the filter. Once the weather warms up and the bacteria is working its magic, the algae will disappear naturally. Anyway, I hope this video and the others I've linked in the description help you find a solution that's right for you. At the end of the day, it's all about finding the right system for you and your pond. Thanks for watching. See ya.